know, size really doesn't matter when it comes to the driver's seat. I'm 7 foot 2, 2 meter 18, and I actually can drive a Toyota Igo. That's absolutely amazing because 99% of the cars I'm stuck against the steering wheel, or the dashboard is in the way, or my head is against the roof. This car has everything to fit in and as a giant. But this is of course not my dream car. I'm telling you this because I'm looking for my dream car. And I'm going to take you to Germany today to see if I fit in a Cadillac, a Mustang or a Corvette. Let's go. But first, breakfast. 8 eggs and 150 grams of oats is the way to do it as a giant. As most people know, I have a bodybuilding lifestyle where I eat high protein meals every two and a half hours. It will be a long day from home, so prepping my meals with the help of MuscleMe.nl is done in no time. Today I'll be bringing steak, salmon and eggs with me for the proteins and fats. And as a carb source I drink cooked, shredded oats. MuscleMe delivers in the Netherlands, Belgium and Germany. Be sure to check it out if you want better pricing, fast meal prepping and clean products. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning, 9 o'clock and I'm on my way to Germany, Dusseldorf. And with a special reason. Um, I'm ready for a new car. It sounds very bold, maybe it is, but I've been driving this car for almost four or five years now. And uh, lots of me is going well. Movies were great. Um, I, I feel like this is the moment. The problem is, I've been visiting a lot of car stores in the Netherlands, but fitting in a car, yeah, with 2 meter 18, 7 foot 2, that can be a problem. The steering wheel is not always where it should be. <laughs> for instance, here. I can steer freely, but at uh, other cars I definitely can't. Uh, other problem is that my head is against the ceiling, and so a lot of dream cars already had to put in the trash can for me. <laughs> um, so what we're looking for today is I found a Cadillac CTV, which is the fast edition of the Cadillacs uh, with 650 horsepower in Germany, Dusseldorf. So we're going to see if that's going to be it. If not, uh, there's a Mustang 350 nearby, and I really want to sit in that one because I am totally in love with the Mustangs, especially the GT500 from 2020. So I want to take you guys on this journey where I'm looking for my new car, and please write in the comments if you know a car for me or one that should fit in, because if these those cars in Germany are not it, I'm not really sure what I can try. <laughs> For instance, I mean, one of my dream cars is the Corvette C8. They put the motor in the back, so I can't put the seat back. So that's probably not going to be it. Um, yeah, there's so many cars I like, but I mean, the Nissan GTR, Japanese, of course. And then I see this Cadillac, the most powerful sedan on the market. Maybe I see it in real life and I fall in love. I hope so. Let's do it. Um, see you in Dusseldorf. I found a Mustang GT in uh, Dusseldorf for some searching. I'm really curious how I fit in it because I have to say I'm kind of in love with the uh, GT500 from 2020. And if I don't even fit in a GT, probably the interior is, the, is pretty much the same. So let's see. Uh, I don't know the word, Lord Rosenstitz, it's in German. It's, it's for the downside of the back. Oh, yeah. But the question is, will you fit in or not? Because you are a good piece of fire <laughs> than me. Yeah. So I think the best would be to sit in and maybe oh. do a test drive in some days. Are oh, you already stuck? I, I can't even reach the pedal. No, his leg is no? stuck. Because my yeah, leg is okay. stuck. Then, then, then it makes oh, sense. Well. If this can't go back, I will be with my head against the ceiling. Mm. Uh, it's not safe now. No, we are behind. So. It will not be able to, to... We have to take out the couch. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a fine car, but 2 meter and 10 or 2 meter and 50 people. Yeah, I'm 218. It's, it's a sports step. car, so it's not made for the highest man. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, it will not fit, I think. Yeah. Now the looks are so incredible of the Mustang. Here, the top is a little bit higher as it's... Can I try? Not very big, but I don't know if you fit in there better. Yeah, if I can try. Yeah. The, the roof is higher, so maybe. <laughs> you can sit straight. Down, and uh, if it goes uh, further down, it's the maximum again. Ah, this is better. So with your head, it should be a little bit better because the roof is not so big mm -hmm. in space. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh wow, yeah. You can take it. I, 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 I could drive it. I have a little bit of space now. <laughs> this would be possible. And if the roof is open, you need to restyle your hair. <laughs> So hard. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I uh, could try a Mustang. Apparently, the Cabrio has a lot more space because of the roof, and this chair can go way more down. Normal GT, I have no chance at all. Too big of a risk to buy the 2020 GT500 from America, but uh, Texas, the BPM in Holland was already crazy. They're, they're absolutely beautiful cars, but. Height comes with advantages and disadvantages. And this is one of the disadvantages. I definitely can't complain. Uh, this is all luxury. I understand that. It's all extra in life. Not necessary toys. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for following me this day. Please leave in the comments uh, what you think about these cars or what cars you want me to fit or what you think the Dutch Giant should buy. I'm really curious and uh, I'm gonna sleep over a few days. Okay, so we just arrived at the store and it's really insane. We're getting the keys so I can see if I fit it in. Exploder and everything down. I'm actually much more impressed than the YouTube videos. Well, it's it's not bad. I, I have to say I should, I fit better in my own car, but I do fit in it. I, I can the steering wheel is still a little bit okay. Yeah, so this is quite amazing. So you can even put it way back also downwards. And my my knees are totally free. That's really unique. I fit in so many cars, and normally my knees are against the steering wheel. So I'm really happy with this. How many owners has the car? Damn! I actually found a car with 750 horsepower that I fit in. <laughs> That's, a, yeah. that's crazy, yeah, yeah. damn. So as I understand, this is the strongest motor, General Motors ever made. Uh, it's used in the Corvette uh, Z06. It's uh, 650 horsepower. This car does 60 miles in uh, 3.7 seconds for a sedan. It's absolutely insane. Sticker on it, maximum 240 kilometers per hour. Okay, I'll make sure that I don't go over that. I'm not used to this kind of power. Can't go to the highway. Um, Google Maps show that there's all kinds of tra traffic jams, so that's that's not worth it. So we have driven around like 20 minutes in the city, and we're going back now. Now the feeling is absolutely, it it feels so classy or something. It's it's so it's hard to describe. It's so comfortable. Well, you know you have so much power. Or should I buy that one, guys? Also interesting.
Wow. Ooh. Amazing feeling. What a car. I never make a decision in one day. I have to sleep a few nights and have the same feeling, then I'm gonna do it. But if you know a better car for me, write it in the comments, please. Okay, so as I told you, I, I never fit in a supercar. So this is the C7 Corvette. <laughs> Just to show you what happens. Put everything to the back. And the steering wheel up and forward. It's... <laughs> I, I can't even <laughs> turn my knee. It's... I, I have no idea. So some dune cars just have to fade away. This is uh, really tight. Yeah, look. Nope, I'm totally stuck. Holy shit! <laughs> that's that's. I can't even reach the pedals like this. Oh no! No pull stuff for me. <laughs> Same problem as the Pulsar too, it's uh, totally stuck. <laughs> and also against the roof. I'm bumping my head uh, in the lowest you can go. Yeah, it's the lowest. Oh. First world problems. <laughs> okay, so we have Zach Ainsley here. What's up? And he brought the big Maserati to see if I fit in it. Yeah, this is the, uh, the biggest one we have. So I'm pretty sure he should fit in this man. I've already set the seat for you, it's all the way back. The steering wheel is all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> oh there. Oh you see I'm stuck here. I can't reach the pedal because I'm stuck at the steering wheel. What the fuck? I was convinced you'd fit in this man. This is the far as it goes, right? That's as far as it goes, all the way back. Yeah, shit. Sure. And uh yeah. This is really the biggest muscle ready on. It's huge, I mean there's a lot of space in this, yeah. I have to skip the whole brand now. <laughs> oh man, that's a shame. I mean there might be bigger ones, but <laughs> but if you put if you put me in there, bro, I could lie down fully. Yeah, let me check. Yeah, watch this. Look. You guys at home, I really put the seat all the way back here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> How tall are you, Zach? I'm six foot, so uh, 183 centimeters. Yeah, no, that, that's uh, that's not small. <laughs> <You could> just... <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. It's insane.